here for Grandma Gamer's channel and I'm going to make another, this is actually going to be pretty healthy but it's another one of my recipes that I kind of just am throwing together because it's what I have. So what I'm going to do is make like a garlic parmesan type shrimp um, with, I'm cheating because the shrimp is actually cooked and all I did was it was frozen. So, and I, I um, just pulled the tails off, <laughs> I cheated, I didn't get the fresh shrimp that you have to devein and all that kind of stuff. It's already cooked, I pulled the tails off already, and so I'm going to just make it with some garlic uh, and some veggies or kind of thing that I have. And then I'm also going to make, and these are really pretty good. This is bird's eye steam fresh and you can cook them on the stove top, but it's chickpeas and spinach, see? And this has, um, it's with sweet potatoes, brown rice, barley, in a light olive oil and lemon sauce. And these things are actually, they're really good. So, and I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to start cooking that here in just a second. Okay. So you've seen the bag of shrimp and then it's cooked, I'm going to toss it out. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. And you know I never measure anything. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but very rarely do I, uh, do I measure anything. Okay. Let that heat up a little bit. I have some fresh garlic that I chopped up a few minutes ago. So that's done. I'll let this. And I'm going to take my. I have leeks. See? Leeks. I like the taste of leeks. And I had just a little bit left of one. So I'm going to throw that in here as well. I probably should have waited until the grease was a little bit hotter, um, but it will heat up soon enough. And the other thing I'm going to take is I had one bell pepper left, so I'm going to put all of that in there. Now when you have one of this and one of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of that, so it's one way to get rid of a bunch of things that are in your refrigerator or in your cupboards that, you know, it's like, what do I use and what can I use and what can I do with this or that? I'm just separating all of the leeks. I like the taste of leeks. They, if you've never tried a leek, you might want to try it in your food because they are really good. Um, they're like a huge green onion. But they're a little bit sweeter, I think. I don't know. I don't know. They just... Every time I go and buy them at the store, nobody ever knows what they are. Or they don't know what bok choy is. And I, <laughs> I like both of them. And they're always like, well, what is this? And I've never tried it. What's it taste like? Well, try it. And you'll find out whether you like it or not. They're not that expensive to try. So I'm going to put that in here like this. And I'm also, because I've got to cook the... Um, the shrimp, I'm going to, I don't want to get the excess water shrimp juice in here. I'm going to throw this all in here together like this because it all has to, and I'm probably cooking this all wrong and you're probably going to say if she did this it would have been better or if she did that it would have been better. Part of the shell of the tail was in here. But everybody cooks stuff differently another tail. I thought I got them all off. Okay. Yep, that one's off. Okay. Everybody cooks differently and it's what you like or how you want to put things together is your way of cooking. You know, I cook differently than a lot of people. Some people have to measure out every single thing. Me on the other hand, I don't measure out nothing. 
except for like occasionally when I know like for my overnight oatmeal, I will measure every the three ingredients out so I get the same um, amount of um, those three base ingredients. And I only have <laughs> the one skillet. I have packed up all my other skillets, all my other bowls <laughs> and everything. It's all packed up to be picked up on Thursday. And I'm not going to go dig through. So I have to cook everything <laughs> in uh, one skillet. So there's this. And I'll get let this get all browned up and do its thing. And I'm going to put in, what is this? Wait a minute. This is oregano and sweet basil. So these are my spice jars. I don't know if you can see over there, but... I put magnets on them, and so they just stick to my refrigerator like that. And they're really, it's really great that way because they're not in my way in the least little bit, and I don't knock them off. Um, there is a trick to making them work. You have to make sure that your, um, your magnets are spread out, or they slide together. like. These are kind of like spread out, but they do better if they're like really spread out. They stick better. I have one that won't stick up here at all. Because the magnets are um, like lopsided. <laughs> so they won't. This is the oregano. Let's see, what else can I put in here? I'm going to let this cook up a little bit before. I'm going to put in some um, diced tomatoes as well. See, diced tomatoes. They're Italian style diced tomatoes. So I'm going to put those in as well. One. Okay, so this has cooked up pretty good. Um, so I'm going to throw in a couple other items. I've got some ripe olives. I'm going to throw in there because I happen to like olives. <laughs> I have some water chestnuts. Um, they're diced, so I'm going to put those in here as well. Well, they'll come out of the can. And all of this stuff I drain. You don't want the extra juices in here. So, yes, I like water chestnuts. They're crunchy and they're good. Whether they're good for you or not, I don't know. I just like them. So, there's that. And... I have this half a bag of spinach that I'm going to throw in here as well because I need to get rid of it. And everybody knows that you can pile spinach high up in a pan and it will cook down. So. I should have kept one of my bigger pans, but I didn't. But it, spinach cooks down into like nothing once it starts dissolving here in a little bit, or whatever it does. It will. It will all cook down. And then what I'll do is I'll cook this, and then once this is done, I will transfer it to my um, plastic containers, and then I will cook the chickpea and the other spinach thing, and I'll put that in the container. I'll make sure that everything is you know, has cooled off before I put it in the freezer. And I've been busy today. First thing I, this morning, I made the the snow ice cream, and then I made the tuna noodle casserole, and now I'm making this. And I should just about. And I still have so much food. I have <laughs> a whole package of meatballs that I didn't realize I had, so I had to come up with something 
with a whole package of meatballs. <laughs> and I got still a lot of food I need to get rid of uh, in the next 18 days. So I'll come up with something. See how it cooks all down? But I'm going to put in some of the diced tomatoes as well. And I drained the diced tomatoes already. And remember, you want to drain all this stuff. You don't want it to get all the extra uh, juices. I mean, in some things you want to keep them, but in this I don't. See, now the spinach is all simmering down. So I'm going to throw in some diced tomatoes. And I'm not a tomato um, person, I don't even like them, but in something like this, I like the flavor that um, the tomatoes will give. I probably won't eat them, but it'll give it a nice flavor. That's probably too many tomatoes, but I have like six cans of these. <laughs> So I gotta find stuff to put them in. <laughs> that looks so good. And it smells really good. The garlic and the spices and the um, tomatoes, it just smells really super good. Mm. Let that cook just a little bit longer. And I'm going to throw in some of this Parmesan cheese to give it a little bit of a cheesy flavor as well. Oops. Shrimp, tomato, garlic, spinach, um, water chestnuts, black olive. Uh, combination. <laughs> so I know it'll taste really good. It's got to cook and everything's got to cook. And I can't even put a lid on it because I didn't keep any of the lids. I'm going to taste it. I know it's hot. So mm, that tastes so good. Just the, just the shrimp itself tastes good. It's not overly spicy. It's not overly seasoned. It's just, it's the way I like it. <laughs> I don't like um, anything salty, so there's no salty taste to it. Anyway, so you might want to try something like this by throwing whatever you got in your refrigerator. Just throw it in together. I guarantee it'll taste really good. Okay. Now I'm going to just cook this up, like I said, it requires a half a cup of water and what I'm going to do is use the juice, I don't know if you can see this that well, but the juice from the garlic shrimp that I made, um, it was almost a half a cup. I just had to add just a little bit of water to it, so I'm just going to put that in there just like that, move it around a little bit and cook this up and this will you know these just take just a few seconds well just a few minutes to cook and actually you're supposed to put like a lid on them and stuff like that but like i already said <laughs> i don't have any more lids so okay i'm gonna let this cook up and then i'll show you the final what it all looks like put together okay so this is all cooked up really good. It's all ready to go into my containers. Uh, doesn't that look really good with the sweet potato and the rice and the barley? And it's got little pieces of chickpeas in it as well, or little chickpeas in it. So I'm really, this is, I know this tastes good. I've had it before. So what I'm going to do is just put some of this in each one of these containers that I've got ready. And it's got some of the juice in the bottom, and I don't have enough. Well, 
I will make it work for four. And if you're wondering how I do this, what I do is after like this will all cool off, I take masking tape and a marker and I'll write shrimp on the masking tape and put it on the lid. So I'll put like the date and shrimp and I don't know why I put the date on because I only make enough for two weeks worth of food. Uh, but I will show you um, my freezer so that you can see. Well, see, here's my um, snow ice cream that I made. But there you go, they're all lined up here. There's only um, one, two, three, four, five, six meals, and then those four will be 10 meals all together. And so that will get me two weeks worth of food because I eat out of my cupboards during all my days off. So this is probably like really messed up. Oh, well, yes, I, I should close my freezer door. So this is going to be, I mean, and that's really super healthy. Uh, so this is Grandma Mia for Grandma Gamer's channel. Take care, have fun, and be safe out there.